What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your second programming C tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be building a basic calculator. But before I do that I want to talk to you guys about something I'm going to be using in this tutorial called an escape string. Now as you can see whenever we uh, printed hello world in the last tutorial we printed it all on one line. But what if we wanted to print all these words on different lines? Let's put hello there YouTube. Um, if we printed this it would all print on one line but if we wanted to print it on each different lines we need to include a special character called an escape character now escape characters do something out of the ordinary um, in any string of text for example backslash t would add a tab or five spaces in your text but we're gonna wanna add a new line so what we need to add is backslash n between hello and there and backslash n between there and YouTube and as you can see whenever I execute compile and run this you're gonna see hello there and YouTube are all on separate lines right there and this is because anytime the computer sees a backslash n it doesn't treat it as actual text it knows whenever it sees a backslash followed by a character then it's gonna have to do something weird and in this case I'm gonna be using the backslash n in this tutorial so I figured uh, I'm going to have to tell you guys what it actually meant. So um, in this tutorial, let's get to what we promised or what I promised I'll teach you guys to do. And that's build a simple calculator. And before I do that, I need to introduce you guys a concept called variables. Now what a variable is, is pretty much a way of storing data in your computer. So you have to do this a very particular way in C programming. The first thing you need to do is tell your program what type of variable you're going to be using. And since I'm going to be using an integer, and integers, in case you forgot, are like minus 4, 5, 30, um, 560, and they can even be 0 as an integer. It's basically just a whole number that can be negative as well as positive. So after you tell the computer what type of variable you're working with, you're going to have to name your variable and you can name it whatever you want you can name it baboon if you want I'm gonna name my num1 because it's just easy to remember and don't um when you're naming your variable don't name it starting with a number you can use letters and numbers you can't use any symbols like that um but make it start with a letter and uh that's pretty much all the rules you guys need to know for now just don't name anything weird so um, in this calculator we're going to have to enter two numbers and it's going to calculate the sum for us. So we already have a variable for our first number. Let's put int num2. That's going to be our second number. And the last is going to be an integer called sum. So now that we have all our variables, we actually need a value for these variables. And we're going to have to get the value from the user itself so right now we have three variables and let's enter just a statement on the screen put enter your numbers and this is just going to make it easier for the use so the user is going to be able to see what they have to do the next function that I want to teach you guys is a function called scanf and this is a function that's going to allow the computer to get value from the user and plug it into the variable so if you're wondering, all right, how the heck does this work? Well, pay attention and you'll learn. Type in scan f and add all your uh, parentheses and um, semicolons. And inside your first argument, inside your parentheses, you're going to have to tell scan f what type of data type it's going to be receiving. And since we're going to be working with decimal integers, we're going to want to put percent sign d. Now this percent sign x that tells what data type and the D right here stands for decimal integer and that's um that's the first thing you need to put in scan F and then add a comma and the next thing that you need to add is an ampersand which is the and sign and your variable name num1 so what this does is this your scan F says alright you're getting gonna be getting input from the user it's going to be a number input and I'm going to want to want you to take that number and plug it into the variable num1 
So now, whenever you print out the variable num1, it's going to be whatever value they entered. So um, we did that for the first variable. Let's copy this. And let's do it for the second variable as, uh, as well. Just change this to num2. And now the second number they enter is going to be stored in num2. But for some, we want to do something a little different. We don't want them to enter a value for some. We want them to calculate the sum by adding num1 and num2. So how do we do that? This is the most simple thing you'll ever learn in your entire life. Put sum equals num1 plus num2. Bam. Now the sum variable is equal to whatever number they put in for num1 and num2. And now, just to prove you guys that this actually worked, I'm just going to print on the screen. Um, use my printf function. Um, I want to print, uh, let's put your, or let's put the sum is percent %d, since we're going to be working with a variable. But what variable do we want to output? Your sum is, and it's not going to actually print percent %d. This means all right what variable and then you tell it the variable so pretty much so let me run this and uh, show you guys what it does and then I'll talk you guys through it hopefully I don't got any errors come on beautiful enter your number four another number six the sum is ten wow we already go out and start applying for uh, C programming jobs actually not yeah I gotta teach you guys a couple more things but here's what it did we told the computer we were gonna be using three variables called num1 num2 and sum we allowed it to give us the message enter your number we typed in the first variable and it stored it in num1 we typed in the second number and it stored it in the variable num2 it added those numbers together and it said the sum is and then it says output a variable right here but what variable sum so there you guys go that is how you build a basic calculator in the C programming language again I'm gonna be putting all this source code on my website the new boston.com so if you want it um, just go to my website the new boston.com and get it it's gonna be right there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel keep watching these videos and I'll keep teaching you guys how to program in C so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And I'll end it with me running this program one more time. 8, 435, the sum is 443. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.